ladies, I'm back with another romantic tip video. I got a question. The last time I wore this, um, I got a question was, is that a onesie? <laughs> and actually, thank you Kimmy for that question. And the answer is yes, this is a onesie with the feet and all. Let me see if I can get it in the shot. It's got the little, the little kitty feet in there and all. Yes, this is a onesie with pockets and everything. All right, I'm so glad you asked that question because that leads to my topic for today, sleepwear. The reason I wear a onesie is usually because I have some kind of lingerie under the bottom. But uh, we might have guests to stop over or... Um, one of my children might come home, for, they're both grown, but they might come home and usually they have a friend with them. So, so I don't be in my lingerie, I'll have this on as kind of a cover up. But I want to challenge you, not only to get a cover up or a robe, but to wear something at least one day a week. Well, I advise three days, but let's start off small at least one day a week, wear something to bed that lets your hubby know that I'm honored to have you laying next to me. My personal favorite, get whatever favorite gown or lingerie that you like. However, if you love wearing flannel pajamas to bed, try one day a week wearing something a little bit sexier. Not saying nothing is wrong with pajamas. I'm not a pajama girl myself, so I can't relate to that. But wear something at least one day next week. Every day next week, but at least one day. I would advise every day, but at least one day. Wear something that lets him know that you're honored to have him laying next to you. Because, I mean, he could be laying next to somebody else. Let's just be real. Okay. But here's my favorite type of gown. This is actually my favorite gown. Something short. I don't like anything that come past my knee, but that's me personally. That's my personal preference, but it's usually... Let's see if I can get it in there. It's a strap, has a little sequins, but... And it's see-through all at the bottom, but again, that's my preference. Do you. But wear something to bed that's sexy. And you'll be surprised. When you dress sexy, you feel sexy. I got that from Beyonce. She actually said there were, I think Oprah was interviewing her, and she said when she's at her lowest, when she's been beat down so, so much, the thing that she'll do is go in and put on her most expensive, most beautiful gown that she has, and she'll get all dressed up with her makeup, hair, everything, and they'll ask her, where are you going? And she's nowhere. It just makes her feel better when she looks better. So that's my challenge for you this week. Pick one day out of this week to dress sexy, going to bed. To express that you're honored to have your hubby laying next to you. Now, if you already do one day a week, bump it up to two. And if you do two or three, hey, do the whole week. All right, until next time. Bye, ladies. Have a great day.